this a surprise? No, Dollarama is not immune to inflation. Uh, and the thing with Dollarama is that they actually have it more difficult than mainstream grocery stores, right? Uh, you can increase the price of, say, something that's $20 by 50 cents or a dollar without difficulty, but you really don't have a lot of room to increase the price of something that's a dollar, right? Mm -hmm. what, what's the next price point? It, it's not a dollar five, it's gonna be a dollar 25 or a dollar 50. So they really did have to wait until it was just, they couldn't do it any longer, and then they had to pass it on. But it seems like a big price hike. Maybe that's just psychological, but to go from the highest price point being $4 to $5 does seem like a lot. Yeah, it's 25%, and that's exactly it, right? They, they could increase it to four and a quarter. They could increase it to 450. There's probably a good chance that they should have increased those prices by 25 cent increments somewhere along the way in the past couple of years. And I think the idea of just saying that, look, the upper point is five, it doesn't mean that all of those $4 items are going to become $5 items. Right. It's probably that some of those four are going to have to be five, but they're merely just giving themselves that space to move to five if they need it. So is this partly a supply chain issue as well? Like where is the, I know inflation is up obviously, but where is the, the other increases coming? Are they, are they um, is our labor costs rising? Like how are they justifying this increase? I'm going to guess that it's probably a, a mix of a bunch of things. One of them is going to be the supply chain issues. One of them is probably rental prices for all of these Dollaramas are going up. Mm. And so that's going to increase their cost of operation. Uh, all of those goods are being shipped by truck, right? Like you can imagine that go into Dollarama uh, and buy a chocolate bar. Those chocolate bars are arriving like by the box load, right? So all of those things that are being trucked in are paying two, three dollars a liter now in gasoline. So right. the cost of transporting the goods is going up as well. Uh, there's probably a little bit of wage inflation there as well, but I, I don't think that uh, uh, the hiring practices of Dollarama is that they're paying, you know, huge wages to begin with. So I, I don't think that that's a major component of it. Right. Uh, but the trickle down effect, as we talked about, I think earlier this week, is real. Uh, do you think this is going to hurt their business or people need the, the Dollaramas of the world more than they need the higher end stores? Because again, they can't afford with inflation impacting their bottom line as well to shop in other places. Like they said, and like you said in the intro here, they would only pass along those prices if they had no other choice and if their competitors started to do it too. So, you know, even though those prices are now higher, Dollarama is still at the low end of the market structure, right? Like if you want to go get that chocolate bar, there is no place to go other than a Dollarama. Not that I'm shilling for them, but the fact is you're just not going to get it cheaper anywhere else. So the fact is that they're still going to maintain their, their position within the market and the customers that wanted to buy there are still going to be the customers that buy there. And then might even attract a, a few other customers that are finding that their income is really being stretched and they don't have the ability to negotiate for higher wages, the Dollarama starts to look attractive. So in a weird way, it actually benefit their business. Wow. I'm out of time. How long do you think this will last, Moshi? Uh, this interview, another 30 seconds. But, uh, the, <laughs> the, the, the price increases um, probably through to the end of the year before we start to see stability. There you go. You could moonlight as a comedian and bring in some extra income, might I add. Thank you very much. Nice to see you. Thanks, Professor. Professor